Hey guys, today I am really excited because I am doing a collab with my keto BFF, AD Keto. And today we are talking about our top five favorite keto takeout meals. Also, be sure to check out his channel where we talk about our top five favorite keto meals that we make at home. All right, so what we're gonna do is just kind of jump back and forth talking about our favorite takeout meals from five to one. So I'm gonna shoot it over to my friend, AD Keto, to talk about his number five favorite takeout meal. Hey Autumn, thank you, man. I am so happy to be on your channel. I'm happy to be doing this video with you. It's gonna be so much fun. My number five uh, of, I guess this is a combined list, even though we never really went over it together. This is like, I'll come up with five, three, one, you do four and two. Um, my top, or my number five takeout meal is Chipotle. I am all about a good burrito bowl. And what I usually get is double steak uh, with fajita veggies, some guac, cheese, sour cream. And they actually, Chipotle just came out with these lifestyle bowl things. And I know that there's a keto lifestyle bowl and I've never gotten one of those because I think they use um, carnitas and I am a steak dude. Ah, no, first of all, I feel like they come out with lifestyle bowls just so they can charge you extra few dollars for your lifestyle. Absolutely. And secondly, carnitas are awesome, so stop that. Oh, okay. Well, you know, to each their own. Yes. Um, but uh, steak is my jam. Chipotle, I think, especially for someone starting keto, is a really good option if you're if you're trying trying to just modify something that you normally get anyway. It's just get what you normally do, but subtract, you know, beans and rice, and you're basically good to go there. Um, and it's always pretty fresh, and I love it. So Chipotle is my number five. What is your number four? Okay, so Chipotle is really great, but my number four is Subway. And I know you're probably thinking like, Subway is like a legit sandwich. Like, that's the point of the sandwich, just to be made with bread. But if you don't know, Subway also has this option where they will make any sandwich that you like into a salad. So when I say Subway, I actually mean a big, like a big salad from Subway where they just take all the lettuce, all the toppings from the sandwich that you would get anyway, all the meats and cheeses, and they just put them in a bowl and they chop it up and they serve that thing to you. And it's like, it's really huge and it's also fatty and delicious. Like if you're getting the fatty meat such as, you know, pepperoni, salami, etc., like it is just the best case scenario of like fat and veg and volume and deliciousness. So I would say Subway, it's, you know, kind of sneaky, you wouldn't think, but like they have great salad options. Volume is a huge thing. I'm all about that volume. Um, I haven't been to Subway in a while because my number three is something very similar. It's a sub place. Um, before I get into it, I should mention that all of these choices that I'm making, one of the big components with me putting this list together was, is their online ordering easy to understand and is it customer friendly? So Chipotle, which I mentioned before, yes, their online ordering is pretty much on point. This next place might be my favorite online ordering and it is Jimmy John's. They're a regional sub place, but their online ordering is fantastic. You can really dig down and customize what you want and you can add pretty much any topping to any sub. The one that I usually go with, actually they have some of the best names for their sandwiches. There's um, the Italian nightclub, there's the gargantuan, there's the bootlegger, um, and the one I got just last night actually is the ultimate porker. And you cannot go wrong with a sandwich called the ultimate porker. Agreed. And, and again, a sub place you usually, you usually think, you know, bread or whatever, but Jimmy John's does this thing called the unwitch wrapped in lettuce. Um, it's the way to go every time. They've got a cool like, you know, peel as you go wrapper. Um, it gets a little messy toward the bottom when all the sort of mayo kind of settles down at the bottom. But Jimmy John's is great online ordering and I just had it last night and it's my number three. Yeah, and that's awesome. So Jimmy John's like, honestly, the only reason I didn't choose Jimmy John's is because you had already chosen it. I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, we got a lot in common because JJ's like, is the place to go. And you can tell the one thing I really like about Jimmy John's is that they, the the lettuce wrap is not an afterthought. Like they right. actually have a built-in process of like, we're legitimately gonna make you an awesome sandwich wrapped in lettuce. It's not one of those, we've been doing bread for years and oops, now we gotta find lettuce. Like it is legit, but I agree. It turns like super soupy yeah. at the end, depending on the toppings that you got. Exactly. Okay. Moving on to my number two. So my number two, similar to 
Aaron's number five, but I think is superior is Qdoba. Now that's, uh, hang on, I've never heard of Qdoba before. You never heard of Qdoba? I've never heard of Qdoba. Oh my God. Qdoba Firstly, it's is spelled so the weird. better build your own burrito bowl place. Okay. Okay, everyone, comment. Team Qdoba, team Chipotle. There can only be one. Like, I'm, I'm asking you, I'm drawing a line right now, and you have to tell me because I am team Qdoba 100% of the way. So, and the reason, and I'll tell you why, is because they just have more variety. They have more fajita vegetables. They have more types of sauce. Y'all know I like spicy food. What am I supposed to do at Chipotle where they just got like, oh, salsa. What is that? Pico, huh? No, where is the hot stuff? Okay, and so, and then they have other like cilantro and all sorts of other toppings, onions, things that like, I get what Chipotle is trying to do. Like, let's be classic, let's be streamlined, blah, blah. No, no, no. Like, I want all the toppings and all the options and I want them now. So that's, I, do you, so there's no Qdoba where you live? I don't even think there's a Qdoba around me. I think that they're a regional thing and I have never seen one in my neck of the woods, but um, I will keep my eyes peeled. Yeah. It sounds awesome. And, you know, unfortunately, I don't know, I don't know if they're in Texas, but like, if they're there when we go to KetoCon, like, we're gonna go to a Qdoba, even though that'll be like one night, because there's so much more awesome food in Austin, Texas, besides a chain, you know? Can I just say how freaking excited I am about KetoCon? Like, it's like, as of this recording, three months away. Yes. Um, it's gonna be so much freaking fun. It is, and like, we're already making like all the plans, and so everyone, if you don't have plans to go to KetoCon, we're telling you right now, I'm gonna be there, he's gonna be there, it's legit gonna be a party. So like, come join us, please. Yeah, that's so great. Yes, so my number two is Qdoba and I'm so sad that, it, I bet if you had Qdoba where you were, it, it would have been on your list, but at have. least I got to claim it, so I'm excited. <laughs> so now I wanna kick it over to you. What is your number one favorite takeout keto option? Number one with a bullet. Five Guys Burgers without fries. Um, I agree. Five Guys, again, their online ordering is so great. And another element of it that I forgot to mention is I have some people in my house who are not keto. My kids are um, part of the uh, order usually. So Chipotle, Jimmy John's, and Five Guys all have you know their standard menu options for those freaks. But for Sarah and me, uh, it's bunless burgers. You know, I usually get a triple uh, patty bacon cheeseburger, and super pro tip, uh, you can get extra bacon there. When you arrive, I usually pay online. I arrive at Five Guys, I walk in, the people at my local Five Guys actually know me. Um, they're like, I walk in, I feel like Norm from Cheers. They're like, hey, hey, Ron. I walk up there and I've already paid for my order. And I was like, hey, can I get an extra order of bacon? And they just slide one into my bag. It's so great. So what? I am gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put that to the test. So yeah, okay. because. I wholeheartedly agree. Like Five Guys is just, once again, because of the options, okay? Like there, you, there's so, there's like what, 32 different toppings you can put on so there. Good. You know, a lot of them might not be keto friendly, but there are a ton that are. I'm all for the jalapeno and the mayo and the bacon and just everything that's, ah, uh, I agree. Like Five Guys is legit. When I'm going through their, um, their menu, I'm like, oh yeah, I want green peppers. Oh, I want jalapenos. And I just scroll down and there's like grilled peppers, grilled jalapenos. I'm like, yes and yes, like exactly. both of them. All of them. All of that stuff. Yes. So yeah, Five Guys, my number one by far. I love going out to Five Guys. Actually, I just go out and pick up and bring it home because everyone else is, you know, doesn't want to go with me, but whatever. It's part of my Friday night routine usually is going to Five Guys and or Chipotle for people. Um, so that's our list, dude. Um, Thanks for having me on your channel. Oh no, oh my God, thanks for being here. And that, those are some like, kick-ass options. Like everyone, if you have access to all five of those, like go out, give them a try, comment below, let us know either here on Instagram, I'll put all of our information up, but like, what is your favorite keto takeout option? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. For sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you over on Aaron's channel.